guys, we are in Wuhan for the weekend and we are actually in a place called Cranberry which is further from Bangkok than Wuhan and it's basically a uh, beachside resort that we're staying at. Uh, we just left the resort, I didn't film it yet but um, I did take some videos and photos on Snapchat if you want to follow me on that then please check it out. Uh, at the moment we are visiting a beach called Khao Khao Kalok which is like the mountain of skeletons or something because apparently it looks like a skeleton so uh, we're just going to try and find out where it is and hopefully it will be good. So breezy today. We brought the dog Sandy. Uh, causing a bit of a stir with the locals. Yeah, fucking. What are you doing? It's all behind you. Alright. Coconuts. Don't let me drown. Feeling very well. Check this out, guys. I just finished making uh, chicken and potato stew. It's in the morning and I thought that I would make quite a lot because uh, a lot is going to have some at work and I'm going to eat mine tonight when I finish work and when I finish training Alright oh guys, it's quarter past 8pm, I just finished work and I'm going to train myself I haven't eaten anything yet today um, so as you can tell I'm doing my intermittent fasting I've uh, got hypertrophy shoulders and back gonna go home and then eat that stew that I made earlier. Alright guys, so today I'm doing my hypertrophy shoulders and back day and I'm at the S31 hotel gym where I train my clients most of the time. Uh, the reason I'm training it today is because it's quite late and I know that the Tony's Fitness gym that I also train at will be busy. So first off I'm doing my dumbbell shoulder press. Here I'm using 28 kilo dumbbells and I'm going for at least 10 reps. So. I managed 13 for the first set, I forgot to film it, and this is my second one. I think I got 11. Um, my dumbbell shoulder press is strength is going up, which I'm really happy about because it's always been a weak exercise of mine. Any shoulder pressing movements, uh, pressing overhead, so I'm quite happy with that. 
for my second exercise I'm doing a back exercise uh, it's I think these are also called seal rows or two dumbbell rows where you're resting your body on the bench and so really isolating the upper back and lat muscles that you're trying to work here I'm using 28 kilos and I'm, again I'm going for at least 10 reps uh, I think I managed 10 to 12 today so my arms are about 45 degree angle, not too wide, not too narrow. Um, really focusing on using the shoulders and back only, uh, no arms. So just trying to get the elbows and shoulders up and back. My second shoulder exercise, I'm doing side lateral raises. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to use 40 pound dumbbells, which is what I normally do for 15 reps, but someone was using them and in a small gym like this, uh, they only have one of each thing. Unfortunately, so I decided to go up to 45 pound dumbbells. Uh, it was quite heavy. I, I was planning to do 15 with 40 pounds, but because I was using 45, I only managed to do 12 with a relatively decent form. I, I was trying my best to twist my hands so that my little fingers were <clears throat> up uh, to keep my elbows up, but um, it was quite difficult that way. But I managed to use the 40 pound dumbbells for the Second and third sets, which was good, I was able to keep my technique uh, tighter, better. Uh, second back exercise is the lat pull down. In this gym, the weight for the lat pull down only goes up to what it says is 100 kilos, and I, I was able to do the whole stack for 15 reps quite comfortably, so um, I would have liked to have gone a bit heavier, but because I couldn't, I focused more on technique. Uh, really getting the stretch at the top and contract a full contraction at the bottom, so squeezing the shoulders back, pausing slightly, and I felt it really worked. Um, so it's not detrimental for me to train that exercise here, even though the weight's not too heavy. Um, here I'm doing the rear delt fly on this machine, and I like this machine because it keeps tension on the movement the whole time, from start to finish, throughout the whole range of motion. Uh, one thing you have to be careful when doing this exercise is that you don't extend your arms too much. Like, uh, you might be able to see that I've got a slight bend in my elbow. If you if you try and push your hands back, then you'll end up using the triceps, <coughs> Sorry, which is what you don't want to do. So instead you want to focus on getting those elbows back and squeezing the shoulder blades together at the back and trying to hold it a little bit. Here I'm doing face pulls on the lat pull down machine, so just uh, trying to make the most of with what I have available to me at the gym. Here I'm using uh, two separate handles and what I'm trying to do is to get my elbows up and back. That's the priority. My hands I want quite high up, so around my ear area. And uh, I'm trying not to use my hands at all. So my hands are just hooks that hold onto the handles while my elbows and shoulders are brought back as far as they can. Uh, quite high up and held in that position at the back for a little bit before coming back forwards. I find this is good for my shoulder health as well as uh, developing some um, neck and trap strength as well as some delts. And to finish off I like doing a tricep compound exercise and I decided to use this machine today. It's a chest press machine. I'm using a neutral grip so I'm aiming to get more of a tricep workout than a, a chest workout. Um, I did one set with, uh, it was about 91 kilos it said on the machine, but it was a bit too easy, I got 15 reps, so I decided to do the full stack. Uh, it's, I can't remember what weight it says, but you'll see in a second. And I managed 10 reps, um, and it felt good. It felt, I don't usually use machines like this, so it was just a nice change. All right, guys. I just wanted to show you the time on my phone, so it is just past 10 p.m. and I haven't eaten anything today yet. Uh, so I basically need to take in my daily caloric intake, like all the food that I'm gonna eat for today. Now, from now until I go to sleep. Um, so I normally go to sleep after midnight, probably around 1 a.m. because. Uh, a lot of my work happens in the evening time and also a lot of finishes work late and starts late so it sort of suits my schedule. 
All right, guys, this is this chicken and potato stew that I made earlier. Um, if you following, if you're following me on Snapchat, then you would have seen how I made it. So if you're not already, then follow me on Snapchat at Vishal Harrier. It's just my full name. Uh, it's a chicken and potato stew with the tomato sauce, some seasoning, and some sweet corn. Um, I cooked it with one kilo of skinless chicken breast, and uh, I'm going to eat almost all of this. So it's like a saucepan, and I'm going to have it with some sour cream. So here I've got a little tub of sour cream, 150 grams, and I bought some ciabatta bread, so I'll have that with it, and that's going to be my dinner. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for this video, I hope you liked it. Uh, that is basically all I, I'm going to eat for today, it's uh, that stew, sour cream, some bread, I've got a few uh, fruit. Actually, let me show you guys. This is a fruit called lamyai or longon in English, and I'll, I'll have that as a snack. It's it's a fruit that's grown here in Thailand, and it's really low in calories, according to any nutritional information website or source. For one of those fruit, it's half a calorie, or one calorie, I can't remember, but it's really low. They're really sweet, they're really good, so I'm going to have that as a snack after I eat this massive amount of chicken and potato stew that I made. So, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the feeling that you get when you fast for a long time, uh, when, when you get used to it, or at least the feeling that I get is, uh, towards the end of the fast, like in the evenings, I feel quite energetic. I feel yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but I feel quite hyper. Uh, I trained fasted, so I didn't have any food or any calories before I trained. Just um, about 10 grams of some branch chain amino acid, so BCAAs. Uh, I just had two teaspoons of that stuff, um, downed it with some water. And uh, yeah, I feel good. I don't actually feel hungry right now. I haven't eaten anything all day. It's like past 10 p.m. But... Um, I'm going to definitely enjoy the food that I'm about to eat. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please click like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But until next time, later.